good morning students we have already finished the first and the second lesson of general science so let's discuss once uh, more about the lessons and the book exercises so starting from page number 5 this is the first one test yourself you need to match your answers see the circulatory system consists of blood blood vessels and heart okay there are three blood blood vessels and heart the liquid part of the blood is called plasma it is the straw colored fluid if you remember then hemoglobin is the red part of the blood it is found in the red blood cells and gives the red color so hemoglobin gives is the red part of the blood rbcs are known also known as so you have to write the second name of the rbcs that are erythrocytes then platelets are also known as thrombocytes we cannot write amoeba because amoeba is a unicellular animal it is not a part of human body okay and leukocytes are the white blood cells so you need to know the names so the second names of all the three blood cells now hemoglobin carries oxygen in blood so a number will be correct okay so red blood uh, blood from lungs to every cell so it will be the oxygen okay why because here pure blood is written so when pure blood is written then it carries oxygen and the nutrients and impure blood will carry carbon dioxide and nitrogenous waste red blood cells are produced in the bone marrow and blood consists of plasma red blood cells white blood cells and what is remaining platelets okay so this is the first part now you see the test yourself for true or false of page number 8 so the life span of white blood cells is about 20 days so that is true 13 to 20 days they survive then red blood cells transports nutrients and oxygen that also you know that is true because hemoglobin is there then white blood cells help in blood clotting so that will be false platelets help in blood clotting platelets are disc shaped that is true you can find the shape of the platelets from page number Five here it is written. See, platelets are colorless and disc shaped, so that will be true. Okay, now let's come to page number uh, eight again. See, uh, where were we? The Five number. The fluid part of the blood is known as plasma. That is also true. Okay. So, the heart does not pump the blood completely. That is also true. Uh, the blood transport oxygen from the lungs to body tissues. That is true. Blood uh, platelets trap red blood cells to. clot blood that is also true so platelets they make the net type of uh, 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 structure where on the cut and over that they trap to red blood cells to prevent further blood flow now let's see page number 9 fill in the blanks so the shape of red blood cells is biconcave you can also get it from that uh, table of page number 5 now second will be red blood cells are without nuclei okay you can write here as the red blood cells or erythrocytes no problem so blood cells which have protect the body from diseases are white blood cells or leukocytes then blood cells which are responsible for clotting of blood blood platelets the finest of all blood vessels are capillaries the color of the red blood cells is due to hemoglobin arteries are the blood vessels which carry blood away from the heart oxygenated blood flows in the left side due to uh, side of the heart the liquid part of the blood is called plasma and blood is a fluid connected tissue now let's see the true and false deoxygenated blood is received by the right auricle that is true then veins connect arteries no capillaries connect arteries and veins so this will be a false statement then leukocytes are larger than erythrocytes that is true white blood cells are in fact the largest of the three cells 
red blood cells are produced in bone marrow so that is again true now let's see the question and the answers in the next page first question is okay now here again match the following is there so liquid part of the blood that will be plasma so one e two capillaries so that will be a connecting arteries with veins third number protection of body that will be leukocytes 3 so 3d four number stop uh, play vital role so that will be platelets 4b and five number produced in bone marrow that is c so 5c then first question short one or two sentences so what is circulatory system you need to define the circulatory system two functions of the circulatory system i think i have told you the two functions in written so you will see and write the two functions of the circulatory system first one it carries out the nutrients and oxygen to all parts of the body and second one it carries out the waste from the all parts of the body then what is double circulation that also we have defined that the blood circulates twice through the heart so that type of circulation is called double circulation then what are the characteristics of erythrocytes means red blood cells characteristics you have to write that they are again you can take the help of the table of page number 5 see here color shape number life span everything is there these are the characteristics you can write from here or you can write from here also in sentence mode okay so you have to make the sentences from there so you can write these are the aberrant components of the blood these are red colored because of the presence of hemoglobin hemoglobin not hemoglobin sorry hemoglobin so these hemoglobin carries oxygen in the pure blood to the lungs and to the every cell in the and the red blood cells are produced in the bone marrow so this uh, type you have to write okay color what is the color of the red blood cell what is the shape of the uh, red blood cell like that so two characteristics then uh name the three types of the blood vessels so arteries veins and capillaries will be there what is the function of the pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein so pulmonary artery carries impure blood from the heart to the lungs while as pulmonary vein carries pure blood from the lungs to the heart then what is lymph so lymph is a tissue fluid what how is it different from the blood so you will find here you right see tissue fluid is called lymph so uh, lymph has all the elements of the blood except red blood cells and blood platelets so that is how it is different from the blood so you will write here that when blood reaches the capillaries some of the water and dissolved solutes are filtered out from the plasma into the tissue space to form a tissue fluid called lymph so the answer will be from here to here so what is lymph and from here to here that is how it is different then the second question list the functions of the blood so for the functions of the blood you have to come back here okay see page number 6 here functions of the blood is written so you need to write all the any five of the functions okay any five not all then third one write the comparative study of the blood cells here again you have to draw the table given in page number 5 then list the characteristics of white blood cells again you have to write from that that the white blood cells uh here from here you can write color shape number again from the white blood cells here their first line will be here they are also called the leukocytes their second one will be the that protect the body against infections and third will be uh, so they are colorless they don't have any definite shape and they cha change their shape so three will be there. and fourth one from here to here so three here will be Four, one, two. 
clear i think they don't have any then differentiate between arteries and the veins so arteries are the blood vessels which carry blood away from the heart and the veins to the heart this carries pure blood this carries impure blood so blood here flows with a great pressure here not so so like that and circulation of the blood so you have to write these questions by your own self then come to this one think and write amit and sumit eats a lot of fried food how will this affect their heart so how the eating of fried food affects the heart so it increases the cholesterol level of the heart so you have to make your answers like that okay then let's come to lesson number 2 skeletal system so this one thin long and curved bones located in our chest are called ribs this is page number 15 arms are called four limbs lower leg has two bones tibia and fibula femur are the upper leg bone and five number bones from form the skeletal system long six number long bones filled with soft and fatty substance called bone marrow seven number the skull has 22 different bones eight number the backbone is also called vertebral column nine number backbone gives elasticity to our body